Good morning. Uh, today we're going to uh, we're going to align our part. Uh, we're going to do a two-point alignment, and then we'll do a full feature alignment. Uh, once again, this is without CAD. Uh, by doing a full alignments, we uh, would be able to uh, repeat multiple parts. Do a uh, using a part repeat. It also um, aligns everything so we can use um, composite distances and um, a lot of duh, a lot of other uh, issues that really improve repeatability. So uh, we'll start out with the with the um, fast start practice part, um, and there's two lower holes here. Once again, I like I said, this is not with this is without CAD. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, you know, in the one of that lower hole right here, and we're going to we're going to measure a point right there. All right, and using our circle target, uh, and just kind of uh, you know nudge it in there using your right click and right click and nudge. And once you're happy with that, you kind of get in there. We're going to capture that point uh, by hitting the enter button captured that point pretty happy with it um, and I'll save that you know so after saving it now what I want to do is I want to create an alignment right there so basically I want to zero it out I want to put it right I want to put my trihedron right into the middle of that circle and so I do that by creating an alignment okay so but creating an alignment on my primary feature is going to be point one. And so what this is going to do, this is going to move the trihedron right to the middle of that circle. Everything is going to be zeroed off in that circle. There's no, uh, this does not set any angle. This does not set any skew or any, any uh, of that. It just basically puts it, uh, uh, the origin, the zero, zero, zero at the center of that circle. And so uh, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and save that. And... Uh, you know, and so now what's going to happen is we're going to drive to another point. And this part's nice that it's got two points right in a line. It doesn't have to be. It just has to be two points. So the machine knows where your part is. Uh, and so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to create a measure a point using my circle tool. And I'm going to capture that point. And so I've captured that point. I'll hit save. And so what's happened now is that I have created another point. And so if I look at it on the, if I look at it on the, um, the, the uh, model window, I've got one point right where my trihedron is, and then I've got this other point measured. Now what I'll do is I'm going to create another alignment. Once again, with point one is my primary. Notice how it puts it right where it was and this time I'm going to use point two and what that's going to do is that's going to snap the X value towards that point basically uh, aligning that point along an axis and notice that the trihedron is still rocking because we haven't done any Z alignment at all um, you know this is a 2d part I could click 2d alignment and it would shift these down I'm not going to do that at this time because I'm going to do a full alignment on this one but we're just going to go ahead and hit save uh, and notice uh, we're kind of snapped in there and um, you know we are at about two zero so right in the middle of it's you know, along that edge and what we've done is so we've created an alignment uh, based on those two points and we could start our measurement from here uh, anytime you replace it you'd have to do run that but um, what I would like to do is um, you know let's do a feature alignment so this basically is like a kind of a rough in but what we want to do is uh, we want to have a alignment where it's the same all the features it's based off of features so um, what we can do is um, we're gonna start a new routine all right so I'm going to add a new routine and what this is going to do is, um, you know, this routine will have no manual measurements. All right. And so what I will do is uh, notice what happened is uh, when I started my new routine, 
let's put this this should be zero 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 but if I look at my digital readout it's not it's five two zero well that's because it when you start in a routine it reverts back to uh, previous coordinates of the when the when the software was opened or when the CAD model was opened or uh, so what I need to do is I need to get this alignment two into routine one and I can't drag it unfortunately but what I can do is I can go to our alignment tab our alignment ribbon and we can say recall and so my first step in routine two is to recall alignment two and by recalling alignment two, it's going to take this alignment, uh, put it into routine two. Now make sure you haven't measured, make sure you haven't moved the part, of course. But then we go ahead and recall, and now look at where we're back. Uh, let's reset our DRO zero zero, kind of what we wanted. Okay. So for a full constraint, we're going to we're going to measure a plane line align for alignment, and uh, with that, I'm going to have to use some top lights. So I'm going to turn off my backlight. And I'm going to measure this top, this top plane. And even though it is a very, very uh, flat part, I'm still going to do a full alignment on it. So I'm going to, and I'm going to collect some points. So I went to plane and I used focus tool and I collected a point. Notice the point came there. Showed up in my, showed up in my point cloud. I clicked another one, another point. I noticed these points are building in my model window. And let's go here. Got another point. All right, and come straight down. So I got a fourth point. Um, I'm not really reporting anything. Oh, it looks good. I'm kind of happy with it. I'll just go ahead and hit save. So there's my plane. It's my top plane. If I rotate it around, I can kind of see it. So it's probably a little bit above my points. All right. Next, I'm going to measure the left edge. Okay, I'm going to measure my left edge. Uh, we'll go right along here. And that left edge is a line. So I'm going to click line. And we'll use our feature finder here. Uh, and we're going to click along that line. I got a little too much light there. I'm going to delete that point cloud. I'm going to adjust my light a little better. There we go. About 50% is what we're looking at. So there we collect a point cloud. Scoot down. Collect another point cloud. Scoot down, let's get that back in the center. And so I've collected three, that left edge pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit save. So now I've got a plane and a line. And then what we'll do is we'll go across the bottom here and we'll just kind of measure a line, use my feature finder, and just drag along. And it's pretty easy, just move it along, move it, grab it, drag it. That's pretty exciting. Uh, picking up points. And yeah, we'll get to the end of the land. It looks pretty good. Uh, so pretty much pretty, pretty happy with this. All right. Uh, finally, we got to create that alignment. So uh, what we've done is, um, what we'll do is uh, go ahead and hit um, uh, create alignment and a plane is going to be our primary you know notice the trihedron sitting right there let's go ahead and get this thing in 3d view so you can see it trihedron sitting right there in the middle of the plane it's a primary feature uh, line one is my secondary and line two is my tertiary and line two and three now notice that the trihedron has stopped rocking it means you're fully constrained uh, if you've got the trihedron in the orientation that you want, uh, you can, you know, it looks pretty good. I usually hit the 3D view, kind of matches it blue, red, green. Um, you can change the directions if it's upside down. And if we did something like that, now it's, now if you look at it, it's still the same axes. It's just the primary direction's different. Uh, that would be, depends on how you're looking at it. Um, and uh, if these were datums and this was a, this was a, uh, if these were datums and this was a, um, had the CAD model, you could force a part to nominal uh, and that would align things. But uh, right now we're just going to go ahead and click save and we are fully aligned. Um, 
Now if I run that, run that plane really quick. Oh, make sure it's make sure you're at the top when you start it. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it. There it's measuring our plane. Now it'll measure our line. Another line. And it's created. Now one thing that you can do to make sure that you are um, aligned well is you can take your part. You can move your part a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to move it. So I moved it and I actually rotated a little bit. And yeah, let's go. I'll show you. So see how see how it's kind of at an angle now. Now what we can do is we can test our alignment, and uh, by going back to routine one, set our program app, set the program that this routine active, and let's go ahead and run that. So when we run it, it's going to scoot over. Yeah, I should have installed a uh, a. Uh, Yeah, there we get it. All right, so I should have installed a manual movement there, then it wouldn't have moved. But then once you're happy with it, you hit enter. You know, get it in there, enter. It's going to scoot over right because it thinks it's over to the right from there because we did align it. We'll get it into this hole here. Okay. All right, and right there, capture that one. Now it's aligned. It's at the end of the routine. I'm going to set routine 2 active and if I line this up right it should it should uh, find my part hmm. yep, there it should come along edge I get a lot of questions on how do I uh, how do I go right from routine 1 to routine 2 there's another video on our on our website but basically you got to turn off the footer on routine one turn off the header on routine two and uh, everything works fine um, hopefully this will help uh, with your alignments uh, feel free to check back anytime uh, if you have a question uh, my name is Eric Lunton I'm at PQI uh, if you have any questions we do full zone three training all right thanks take care